Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Cappies. First up, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright position, followed then with by the Two of Cups reversed. And next we have the um, High Priestess in the upright position, followed then by the Four of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. First of all, Cappy, for your overall energy, you have the lovely Eight of Wands in the upright position. Eight of Wands, very fast. It could be a very fast-paced week for you, uh, Cappies, this week. There could be a lot of communication, a lot of things going on uh, in your life. This is the arrows of love find their mark. Some of you could be uh, on the dating sites. You could be getting a lot of um, communication back and forth from that. For others of you, this could represent... Um, if you're, say, in business for yourself, maybe there's a lot of uh, communication going back and forth in terms of getting a lot of new clients, a lot of new sales, that kind of thing. For others of you, this could just be uh, something going on in your work situation. Could be very, very busy, getting dealing with a lot of emails, a lot of uh, text messages, phone calls, that kind of thing. Um, the Eight of Wands can also sometimes uh, point to uh, sudden travel. So maybe some of you are needing to take a trip or travel somewhere for business or even for, you know, for pleasure as well. I mean, right off the hop, we have the Two of Cups in the reverse position. Two of Cups upright. This is when we're feeling simpatico on the same page with someone. This can represent a significant other, a best friend, uh, so whoever we're very much connected to on the emotional and, and mental level where we're just, you know, really see eye to eye on uh, for the most part. When the card is inverted, however, this can point to a falling out of maybe with a best friend or with somebody who we're normally uh, simpatico with. It could just represent sometimes a minor disagreement where one partner wants to do things one way and the other partner wants to do something the other way, that kind of thing. Like say, for example, if you come into uh, a, a, a an influx of finances or money and all of a sudden one partner wants to uh, buy a house and the other partner wants to travel. It's that kind of thing, just sort of being at odds for others of you. It's going to play out differently for all of you because it's just a general read. You'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below as to um, how this is playing out for you. But it's, like I said, it could be in a relationship, it could be in a friendship, or uh, somebody we're very close to at work, that kind of thing. Now, it's paired up with the major arcana, the High Priestess in the upright. The High Priestess is all about, um, she represents it needing to tap into our intuition. It could be for some of you concerning this particular relationship. Maybe you have to tap into your intuition to figure out what's going on. Because she governs hidden secrets, but not that, it's not the kind of, uh, hidden or confusing stuff like in the moon this is more about nobody can really tell you no one's being deceptive it's only that no one can really tell you the answers that you're seeking only uh, going within maybe doing some meditation or uh, self-analysis we can figure out what's going on but definitely listen to your gut about the situation that will help you know, take you forward where you need to go. And you're going to a wonderful, wonderful place at the end of the week here, Capricorn. Look at this. We have the beautiful Four of Wands in the upright position. The best card in the minor arcana, the Four of Wands, is we have arrived. We've reached the summit in some aspect of your life. Now, for some of you, this could be uh, playing out in the workplace. For some of you, it could be like literally if you've been uh, partnered up with other people in order to build a home. Uh, maybe a lot of times people, uh, you know, renovate homes from scratch, that kind of thing. And it could be this marks uh, the completion of that. For others of you, this could be completing a major uh, project that you've been working on for quite some time. For others of you, you could have reached the summit with a special relationship and perhaps it's time to, uh, you know, start celebrating the engagement. This could represent perhaps a housewarming party for some of you if you've just finally uh, completed any renovations or you just bought a home and you're moving in. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Now... The last card you have up, talk about beautiful energy, is the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. 
this is all about the happy home situation because why we have an abundance we have an abundance of security and abundance of finances however this is playing out some of you this could represent someone in the home is making really good money bringing in extra cash to the household which is better for the entire family uh, maybe some of you have grown children who've now gotten jobs and they're contributing to the family's security and stability for others of you it could just be representing your own uh, your own raise maybe you got a raise that's helping to bring in more funds uh, this can also point to inheritance or extra money coming in from uh, outside sources or even coming in from unexpected sources <laughs> so in closing um, I'm going to be pulling the uh, extra message for you from the Wisdom Oracle deck. And we'll see what your extra special message is for you guys. Let's see, Cappies. What is it? Expansion. <laughs> Expansion. Maybe some of you are expanding your families, expanding your homes. Some of you could be putting additions on your own. <laughs> However, it is meant for you. It is your own special message, Capricorn. So that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.